Today we are going to use Red Heart Scrubby Yarn and make us a little scrubby bunny. See? So get your crochet hooks, get your slurpee, and join us, won't you? to another Mumsy video. Today we are going to make a little bunny scrubby washcloth for a little boy or girl um, out of Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. So let's get started with the supplies you're going to need. Uh, Red Heart Scrubby Yarn in two colors. I noticed that they have the most amazing colors at the uh, store. So you could do a combo of two different uh, colors. Uh, you saw in the intro that I did a white one with pink uh, detailing. I think this time for the tutorial I'm going to do a pink one with the white detailing to kind of even it out. If you wanted to do a regular scrubby with this, um, you could use cotton yarn and if you were going to just do a puppet, you could use regular acrylic yarn for that. Um, we'll also need an H hook, some scissors, <laughs> some black uh, scrap yarn, that's to sew the eyes on. Um, if you are doing a puppet instead of a scrubby you could use beads or buttons or something for the eyes but because we're going to do it where we can wash uh, face with it then uh, we definitely want to sew it on with a little bit of yarn. You also might need a little bit of pink uh, embroidery thread uh, for the nose and the little mouth if you want to. All right, let's get started. Okay, we are going to start with the head and the body of our bunny. We are going to take our main color, put it on the hook, now this yarn takes some getting used to. It is a little tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. We're going to chain two and we're going to six SC in the second chain from the hook. Now this is where it goes tricky. It's hard to see one three four five and six I recommend kind of crocheting as loosely as you can just so that you can sort of see the stitches by feel because it is a little bit tricky to see as you can already guess <laughs> as you're doing this. Okay, we're going to use a stitch marker here. And the next round, we're not going to join or anything, we're going to do this in rounds. So we're going to do two SC in each stitch for a total of 12. This you'll have to do by feel until you get used to where the stitches are because it's very difficult to see. So two, and then kind of feel around. Three, four, eleven, twelve. 
Okay, the next round we're going to do one stitch in the first SC. And two in the next. So three here. And then we're going to do that all the way around. So one SC and then two for a total of 18. Next, you guessed it, we're going to be doing one SC in the next two stitches. So one. and then two SC in this next stitch. Two, so an increase here. And then one stitch in here. One stitch in here. and two stitches. Next, we're going to increase one more time. So it'll be one stitch in each of the next three stitches here. So one, two, I'm trying to figure out how to do this so you can see it, it's very difficult. <laughs> three and then two stitches in the fourth stitch here so four five and we're going to do that around again so how are you liking this scrubby yarn so far it's really starting to look like a washcloth isn't it that's pretty cool if you can get past uh, trying to figure out where the stitches are, then it's actually really fun when it, uh, when the completed project is done. The next step we're going to do is we're going to repeat just uh, SC around for six, seven, eight, nine, ten to row ten, and we're on row six, so five rounds of just straight SC. So I'll get started here so you can see a little bit of what I'm doing. I realize everything seems to be in a shadow. I'm just having a very hard time with lighting <laughs> for this video. Once I can afford more, I will get new lights. <laughs> we are at round 10 now. You can see our little bunny head is starting to form. And next we are going to do a row of decrease in order to make the little bunny neck. So we're going to put our stitch marker in there. And we're going to do one SC in the next stitch. And then we're going to decrease over the next two stitches here. So, and decrease. And we're going to repeat. So, one SC. And then one get my marker out of the way here oops and one decrease and if we go like this all the way around we will end up with 20 stitches so we, you can see that our neck piece here is starting to come together so for the next round, we are just going to SC around for 20 stitches. Just to em further emphasize that neck a little bit. So we're just SC, SC. 
We've got our headpiece here looking pretty good. And the next round we are going to increase because we are going to start the body. So we're going to go back up to 30 stitches. So one SC in the next stitch and two in the even stitch there. So two SC here. And one. And then two. The next round we're going to do, we're going to increase once more. So we are going to do one SC in the next two stitches. One. Two. And then increase. So two stitches in this next stitch here. And two. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for 40 stitches. So one, two, and then increase. Four, two. Next, we are going to increase one more time for a total of 50 stitches around. If you are doing a puppet that's not a washcloth, you could stop at the 40 uh, stitches so it's a little bit thinner on your hand. I like it um, with 50 stitches because I want it to look more like a washcloth so it'll be a little bit wider so that there's more surface area for actual washing. So we're going to increase one more time and that'll be SC in the next three stitches. So one, oops, two, and three, and then increase in the next stitch, so two stitches. By now you've probably figured out how to find the stitch that you're looking for by feel, because it's very difficult to see using this yarn, but uh, the good thing about this yarn is that it is very forgiving. So if you kind of fudge the stitch count, you can always make it up in the next round. <laughs> Two, three, and an increase. And if you end up with just the front loop or just the back loop of the stitch, it's still works as well. So <laughs> that's always good. We're going to repeat this all the way around for 50 stitches. We finished our increases and we're going to do a couple of rows of straight SC around just to make the shoulders and then we will start making the armholes for our little bunny. So we're going to do two rows of straight SC around 50 stitches. We've got some shoulders in place now and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to continue um, making the front of the body. We're going to crochet in rows. So the best way I've come up to do this is to have two stitch markers. It's very difficult to see with this scrubby where, where you've stopped to start the row again um, to turn and 
so I find that marking both ends is the way to go. So what we're going to do for row 18 here is to SC in the next 25 stitches. If you're doing a smaller puppet and you've done 40 stitches, then only SC in the next 20. But for our purposes, we're going to do 25. So here's two, three, four, and we've marked the first stitch there with a stitch marker. Five. Once we get to the 25th stitch here, I am just going to mark it again so I know where the end of the row is. So we're going to mark that, then we are going to chain one and turn, and we're going to SC across again. And then we're going to chain one and SC across again, and it will be a total of six rows. So we've done one already, so we've got five more to go. It's hard to get into the beginning stitch there, but we'll finally figure out where the end of the row is once it starts building up here. And this is basically just making room for the armholes so we can put in the little bunny arms. Okay, we're at the row 19 at the end here, so I just wanted to show you where we're going to chain one and turn again. So we are going to go to the last stitch here. Sometimes it's difficult to put these stitches in here. Okay, then we're going to chain one and keep going for round 20 and do the same thing for 21, 22, and 23. We're at the final stitches of row 23 here. Two more stitches to do. And then what we're going to do is fasten off and there you see we've got the front of the bunny done and the next step then we can remove our stitch markers because we know where the ends of the rows are now now we are going to reattach our yarn so we can do the back of the bunny here. So we'll get that on our hook and where we are going to do it is with the, on the right side, the very right side we are going to attach it in the very next stitch beside where we've already gone. And basically we're going to repeat row 18 through 23. So again we're going to do 25 stitches across here and then we're going to turn, chain one and go back and forth until we've built up the back the same as we've done the front. Here we are. It is a new day and it's much brighter outside so we're going to try a new background. And we're at the end here of row 23 for the back of our bunny. So I'm just going to put that last stitch in there. And you can see that our two sides line up now. And what this part will be is the hole that we're going to sew our uh, little bunny arms into. So our next step is to just actually repeat 
row 18 and SE across for 25 again we wanted we want to be working on the right side of our bunny now so you're not doing it across here anymore you're doing it across here so we just turned chained one and we're gonna go across for 25 So we're right here in round 24 and what we're going to do is continue in rounds. Oops. Let's get that end, it's a little tricky sometimes. There we go. We're going to continue in rounds so what we're going to do is attach the piece to make a hole for the arm. So we're going to SC into the first stitch on that other side there to join the hole there and keep going all the way around and when we get over to here we're going to join again at the end of the round then we're just going to continue in rounds SCing all the way around for seven more rows. That will give us enough for the face cloth. So we'll just keep continuing. There's 50 stitches now in this round because we're joining the two 25 uh, spots that we did. Just to show you the join again, we've reached the end here and we're just going to insert our hook into the first stitch of the other side there and SC. And now we're just going to go see how everything is attached on both sides now. We're going to put a stitch marker in here and we're going to SC around and I said in the last segment that it was seven rows but it's actually eight <laughs> so for eight more rows just go all the way around for 50 stitches in each round we finished all the rows that we need for the body of our bunny so there we go I'll show you see isn't that cute <laughs> Now we're going to move on to making the outer ear and the inner ear. So for this, you'll need both your main color and a contrasting color. You'll also need your H hook and a stitch marker of some sort, whatever you like the best. And we'll get going on that right now. I'll move some stuff out of the way and we're going to start with our main color. Put it on the hook. And the first thing we'll do is chain two. One, two. And we are going to put six SC in the second chain. So one, two. We are going to put two SC in each stitch for a total of 12. I'm just going to put my stitch marker in there so I know because it's very difficult to see these stitches so I know that I need 12 in here <laughs> whether they work out to be in the exact stitches or not is up for <laughs> negotiation but <laughs> two 
For the next three rounds, we are going to just straight SC around for 12 stitches each round for three rounds. Just finishing up that last row here of 12. And the next row we are going to do is two SC in the next two stitches so one two and then we are going to do sc together sc together and we're going to do that again two one two and together so the next rows row seven through nine that's three rows we're going to just sc around for three more rows nine stitches each next we are going to decrease once more so we'll do one SC and then one decrease one SC and one decrease one SC and then one last decrease or SC together they call it too. That'll be a total of six stitches and then to finish off the ear we are just going to go around with six stitches for two more rows. We've gotten to the end of the two rows, so we are going to fasten off, leaving a little bit of a tail to sew the ear on to our bunny. So there we go. And next we are going to be starting the inner ear. So you'll want your contrasting yarn for this one. And it's really very simple. What we're going to do Chain 12, one, two, three, four, five, whoops, start again. <laughs> this yarn is very difficult to keep going, so let's try that again. One, oh, for heaven's sakes, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going to attempt to DC double crochet in the third chain from the hook ish. If you can find some sort of chain to do it in. And we're going to DC for three more times. Let me get my yarn going here. Three more times. Basically, it's a hit and miss trying to find the chain <laughs> on here. But it'll work out. Two, so one. Okay, try that again. If at first you don't succeed, All right? I find this 
two, all right, and three. And then we are just going to SC till the end in each chain. Just trying to make it look like an inner ear. It's, um, since it's scrubby, it, uh, will look nice anyway, even if it's kind of, you feel like it's kind of funny. <laughs> it will actually work out. So if the stitch count isn't right, if you, uh, find that you missed a chain or you put two in one chain it's all good <laughs> just try to make this look as best as you can I'm gonna put one last one in here and that's not too terrible we're going to fasten off leaving a tail for sewing And there you have it. You've got your inner ear and your outer ear for the bunny. And you'll want to go ahead and make two. We finished the ears and I've sewn the inner ear to the outer ear in both cases and then sewn them onto the top of the bunny. I've also sewn a nose with a contrasting color and I've used a little bit of black yarn to sew on some eyes and eyelashes. And the last thing we have to do is the little arms, which we're going to sew into those holes that we made. You can see here, we're going to sew that so that it'll come out like a puppet. So we'll need our H hook again and our main yarn to make the arm. So it's actually very simple. All we're going to do is chain two, put six SC in the second chain from the hook. One. Three four five and six. Round number two will be the same increase that we've been doing as for the ears. So we'll put two SC in each stitch for a total of 12 around. next rows are super simple. We're just going to SC around for four rows. So rows three through six will be just 12 stitches around each. And then we'll fasten off and that will be it for our little arm. So at the end of our fourth row there, we fastened off and left a long thread for sewing. And now we're just going to take our yarn needle and attach this arm into the hole. Now try to make it, when you sew it, I'm gonna start here from the back. We're going to make it go all the way around that hole, not to sew the hole closed, 
but so that we'll have it like a puppet when we sew it. So we're going to just kind of, the great thing about this scrubby yarn is that it is so fluffy that it doesn't really matter how terrible of a sewer you are. <laughs> It'll just work out, <laughs> which is really great. Hello, we are all done. Isn't it so cute? So I know on the original one that I had, the white one that I showed at the beginning, it had a heart um, applique onto the front of this uh, with a contrasting color of yarn. I found it was rather kind of unsuccessful when I went to do it, uh, write the pattern out for it, but I will put what I did in the description below just in case um, you want to try it out. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. Anyway, uh, that is it for our scrubby bunny. So uh, if you try it out, I'd love to see your creations. I noticed at the fabric store the other day there was tons of scrubby yarn in every sort of color. I think this would be a really uh, cute idea for Easter, perhaps. Anyway, um, comment, like, subscribe, and...